we right in the mix, you know, with everybody else. But, um, you know, there's some teams that are putting it together and they kind of distancing themselves. Um, I think it's like two or three teams at the top of the West right now. Um, just playing more consistent basketball than everybody else. And we are um, having an opportunity to kind of, um, you know, get some games above 500 and, and do the same thing. But I think we're just really inconsistent right now. Um, not only from game to game, but from quarter to quarter. You know, we're just not able to sustain, um, you know, that level of focus sometimes, that level of um, urgency, uh, the energy. You know, we just kind of we change each quarter, and then some games we locked in for two quarters, then we locked in for three quarters. It's just like a lot of up and down. You know, not just quarter to quarter, but game to game. And um, you know, I think it's showing in you know our wins and losses. Put your finger on why you guys are so up and down like that. Um, I mean, it's not you. It's not. I think it's. I think it's a little bit of everything, you know. A um, little bit of youth. Um, a little bit of, uh, you know, just we don't have a lot of experience as a whole. You know, we constantly plugging guys in, guys out, guys in. Um, but I think the number one thing is just it's not it's not easy to win in this league. You know, it's. Um, a lot of talented guys, you know, there's a lot of talented players on every team where they wouldn't be here. We got a lot of talented players. Um, but the hardest thing to do in this league is to, to have it every night, you know, not just, you know, having your body ready and the energy, but, you know, your mind has to be into it. You got to care. You got to have pride. Um, you got to be sharp and, pan and locked into the scouting report and know how the game is going to be won outside of just bringing your ability to the table. And I think, you know, where we are as a team, we haven't, you know, we just haven't decided who we're going to be all the time. Um, and you only, the only way to decide that is by, you know, doing all the things to give yourself a chance to be there mentally, um, be prepared, and just to physically do everything in your power to, you know, to, to be able to put your best on the floor. And I just think we haven't been able to, haven't been able to be consistent at those things. And like I said, it's showing in our, our ups and downs. Chauncey kind of echoed that and said he could tell right away that, you know, the casualness and stuff wasn't there from the job. Yeah. Could you sense that as well? Uh, I think you can just tell by how the game is the game started. You know what I mean? It was like the plays that, you know, they weren't forcing us into things and then it ended up a turnover or, you know, they weren't they weren't really causing us to make some of the mistakes that we were making, you know, or if it was defensively. Um, you know, we don't put a body on a guy and then they beat us to the off offensive rebound that we should be, you know, securing. You know, it was just when you start a game off with, you know, two, three, four of those mistakes, that's how you know that you just kind of relax. You know, you're not really on edge like you should be. And then, you know, we beat this team two times in a row. Um, they've lost a few games. So, like, you know that they're going to come in on the opposite end of it. So, um, you know, I, I agree with that. Kind of along those lines, I mean, Tonight and really season long, turnovers have been yeah. something that defines you guys. But a lot of them aren't forced. Yeah. Can you put your finger on why you guys are having that identity? I mean, I think um, you know one of the emphasis on our, with our team this year has been to move the ball, um, you know, make the right play, and to you know create action off the pass instead of so much off the dribble. And I think part of it is. Um, Guys trying to do the right thing, and sometimes the play is not there, but we're trying to do the right thing. Um, and that's also experience. And, you know, also for some of us guys that have been playing, we're trying to buy into what we want to do and, you know, make those passes. And sometimes that's uh, turning into to turnovers. Um, and I just think that the other thing is, you know, we, we got to know how to execute what we're trying to do, you know, and the, the times that we skip a step in our execution. Um, you know, we're not aggressive in every part of our plays. Um, certain things don't open up, you know, and we get caught in, in, you know, tough positions. And at that point, it's not only, you know, that the teams aren't forcing us to do anything, but we're now in a position to where any pass is just a tough pass. And with the, the size and athleticism and speed of this game, you know, it's, if it's not on time, it's getting tipped or somebody's going to be shooting the gap or, you know, a lot of things can go wrong. And, um, you know, we've just struggled with that this year. How would you describe where your shot is at right now? You got a couple of little looks at it tonight. You, can just go in you said my shot? Yeah, you missed four oh. free throws, which you usually typically wouldn't do. I mean, I think just in my career, I've always, I always randomly miss 
four free throws in a game. And then the next game, I randomly missed three. You know what I mean? And uh, I think the one thing I take away from it is just they just misses to me. You know what I mean? Um, I'm a 90% free throw shooter, and uh, I know that I, I shoot free throws, I make free throws, and um, sometimes you're going to miss them. You know, tonight I felt like they, they felt good coming out of my hands. A lot of them was hard and rattling in and out. Um, those are misses that I can, I can live with. I don't like them, obviously, because I'm a good free throw shooter, but um, it happens. It's part of the game. Um, you know, and it just as far as shooting the ball in general, it's such a long season, you know, and um, you know, when, when you're at the center and somebody's scouting report, you're getting a lot of attention. The defense is aggressive. And, uh, you know, it's like I said, it's that small window of opportunity and the timing and the rhythm and, you know, seeing the ball go in. It's a lot of things that um, play a factor in that. So it's not always just, you know, how is the shot feeling? It's like sometimes it's, it's just not going. You know what I mean? And you got to find a way to be productive and to, to still get the job done. And I've been doing that for a long time now. So uh, even on nights like tonight or stretches, you know, where I, I might struggle to shoot the ball, um, I never think about it too much. You know, I just keep going and keep going. And, you know, I know that a day is going to come where then I go on a 10-game stretch where I can't miss a shot. But, uh, you know, I think guys that uh, have a role like I have and have been doing it for a long time, we know what, what comes with it. And uh, we just keep rolling, and that's what I'll, that's what I'll do. Uh, what have you thought about Jamari? Uh, yeah. Uh, Barry is a you know a really really good young player. Um, he's a, a guy that just has a knack for finding the ball. You know, he offensive rebounds, he defensive rebounds. Uh, he plays with good energy. He's physical. He's not afraid. Um, he's a capable shooter. Um, you know, and he he cares. You know, you see him come out there and he cares about winning. And for a young player, that's what you want to see. You know, you want to see them come in and try to impact the game any way they can. And I think every game that he's played, he's done that. Um, you know, so I think he's he's doing well for himself in the rotation, um, especially for so many games to go by where you're not playing so many games and not getting in. You know, you're not getting in, and to not know when your number is going to be called and to be prepared each time that you do get called is uh, really professional on his side, and um, you know that's impressive for you know a rookie. What growth have you seen in Anthony Edwards' game? You got 32 tonight. Just what have you seen from him in this first couple seasons? Um, just you know the comfort. Uh, it's it's always interesting to see when a guy comes in and you know him being the number one pick and super talented. Um, you always want to see if they're gonna ever you know take command and take control and how they're gonna go about it. And I think um, the number one thing you see is you know down the stretch in the games you see him commanding the offense. You know he's taking control of what's happening and. Um, that's not an easy thing to be responsible for, you know, because a lot of times the team can either win or lose, and your decision making and how successful you are in those situations is going to be the reason why the game goes one way or the other. So it's, you got to be bold, uh, you got to be uh, strong mentally, and I think you know for him to be taking on that role and to be doing it, you know, with aggression and, and with confidence is impressive.